students i am your komali ma'am in this session i am going to uh, you know discuss the solutions to the test yourself uh, question which i asked in a previous video that is you know simple and super tricks to find equivalent conductivity and molar conductivity questions how can you solve very easily i have discussed and i have given two questions for you know self check let us see what are those two questions and what is the solution molar conductivities at infinite dilution of NaCl HCl and sodium acetate is given and they were asking us for acetic acid see acetic acid they were asking okay acetic acid they were asking what they were asking you just write that you know product side they are asking acetic acid you want acetate ion you want h plus ion where is that acetate ion that there is acetate ch3 covona okay we want this part next we want h where is h in the given data here is the h so hcl what we don't want we want ch3 covo covo we want h we don't want nacl so write nacl here nacl here so we want this one molar this question we have done i think right no is the sum of these two minus this 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 one how much is the given in the question 126.4 hcl is how much given in the question second data 425.9 nacl is how much is given in the question students tell me hcl is uh, okay 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 ch3 what is the formula limiting molar conductivity the sum of these two limiting molar conductivity of ch3 covona plus limiting molar conductivity of hcl minus limiting molar conductivity of nacl okay what is the sodium acetate value which is given in the question third data 91 plus what is the second data hcl hcl that is 425.9 minus nacl is the first data that is 126.4 which upon solving will be getting 390.5 i guess this one we have solved in the previous video itself am i right question is repeated now oh, lucky test yourself question see the next one see the next one following limiting molar conductivities are given as we have three data and they were asking acetic acid okay so whichever they were asking in the question just write that acetic acid they were asking okay then what are the two ions which are present ch3 covo that is k this one next tell me students what is the other ion we want h we want h is where it is present in this in this it is present h2so4 it is present so we want this we want h we don't want k and so4 so with k and so4 which is there k2s if you write like this you no need to worry about how to write the uh, reaction how to uh, what are the reactants and what are the products that confusion you no need to have okay next balance this reactions two hydrogens are here put to two as two acetates are coming put to two here everything is balanced okay now we want the molar conductivities of which one acetic acid how many ions are there two which is equal to how many potassium ions are, this ions are there let us see what are the data given for this is z right this is z and h2so4 is x and k2so4 is y then it will be two ions into each one conductivity is z plus this is x if it goes that side it is y then this two if it comes this side molar conductivity at infinite dilution is equal to if it divides 2z plus x minus y by 2 then this two two will be cancelled z plus x minus y by 2 z plus x minus y by 2 option 4 is the correct answer i hope you to got the correct answers thank you so much for watching this video see you again in next video bye of you have a nice day